Hi, um, remember previously I told you that a uh, story can write itself? So now I think it's actually wrong and it's uh, always our influences. So if that legend about Leo Tolstoy is true, that he cried when his character died, I think maybe it's because he was into some dark stuff or his environment was dark and not that our story wrote itself. So I think we need to watch out what we consume. Like if uh, an athlete watches out what food they eat, the same is for writers, but it's about stories. So we need to control what stories we eat. <laughs> and that being said, I screwed up because I got dragged into this medieval mystical world by reading a fantasy fiction book that was centered around uh, women. So it really showed the hardships of womanhood and it um, just greatly affected me. But overall, I liked this book. And once I finished reading it, it turns out that the author of this book was a monster in real life and she was doing all the terrible stuff to the children. And once you know it, you just interpret all this medieval brutality in the book in a different way. And my mind just got blank. I, I didn't know how to process it. And I thought, that's it, you know, now it will take me days or weeks to get over it and I won't be able to touch my projects or anything because I was really feeling depressed. But actually I took some steps and uh, I got healed. So what I did, first of all, I left the building, so I changed the environment and I found the podcast that um, discussed this book. So I put it on and I went for a really long walk. I could go for a run, but uh, I actually needed more time to stay outside. And so it was just two guys talking about this book. First, they called out the author for what she is, and they discussed then this book in a very respectful manner. And it really helped me somehow, I don't know. I think if I searched for videos, because I'm pretty sure there are video reviews of this book, it would not be the same, but with podcasts it's a different because it's more... They're more close because basically they are in your head. <laughs> it's just voices in your head. And with videos it's always the distance. So first your distance to your screen and then their distance from the camera. Unless they do extreme close-up. And with podcasts, you can also do other activities. So I was walking on the river, but instead of the path, so it's a frozen river, I was walking on the snow and I really enjoyed crushing this old snow with my shoes. And you, you can't do that with the videos. And then I checked another podcast about this book. So this one was four hours long and it was two women discussing the same book and they were just bashing everything, the author, the plot, the characters. And usually I'm not into ne negative reviews, but this time it was exactly what I needed. And by that time I was already back home and I was just drawing. And uh, I laughed a few times uh, loudly. It was just so good. So yeah, I'm very grateful for this medium in general, which is podcasts, because this book reviews in podcast format really healed me. And yes, I was still hunted by this book next few days because I was really invested in plot, right? And yeah, I had to reject all the flashbacks and everything I had. And... Um, I got back to my script and I really like it how it's going right now. If I read it, I would think, oh, it's something I would write. And then, oh, I'm actually writing it. 